Hello friends, this video on integrals part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. x cube minus 1 to the power 1 by q x5 dx integral. These kind of questions you will get very common where the one inside to the power 1 by 3 is complex. Correct. So how to solve such kind of questions? So in this case, let's assume if I assume this guy is t because this is complex part. Correct. And if I assume this guy is t, x q minus 1 is t, I get 3x square dx as dt. Correct. Now also, my x cube is t plus 1. So, this thing I can write as x cube minus 1 to the power 1 by 3 into this is x cube into x square dx. Why am I writing like this? Because x square dx I can write as this guy as dt by 3. x square dx is nothing but dt by 3. This guy x cube I can write as t plus 1 cube x cube I can write as t actually t plus 1 actually x cube is t plus 1 and this guy I can write as x cube minus 1 is t to the power 1 by 3 so the whole thing I can write as x cube minus 1 to the power 1 by 3 is nothing but t to the power 1 by 3 into x cube is t plus 1 t plus 1 into x square dx is nothing but dt by 3. So my whole equation if you see is now converted into 1 by 3 common I'll take. This is nothing but t to the power 1 by 3 into t to the power 1 is t to the power 4 by 3 plus t to the power 1 by 3 into 1 is t to the power 1 by 3 and this is dx dt and this kind of equation is very easy to solve. So what I have done when I assume this guy as t I simplified this complex function or complex integral to a simpler integral and that is the power of substitution. If I take x5 as t, let's suppose in second case x5 as t, I get uh, 5x4 dx as I won't be able to use anywhere this guy, right? Because 5x4 is not, if you take x4 here, x is again out here, which you will not be able to use. So this substitution won't help in this case. In this case, this is the only substitution that will help because one thing to note is anything that has some odd power which you are not able to break because x cube minus 1 to the power 1 by 3, you are not able to break. Has this been x cube minus 1 to the power 2, you can break it actually. Example, x cube minus 1 to the power 2, you can make it x to the power 6 plus 1 minus 2x cube, right? But, but if it is x cube minus 1 to the power 1 by 4 or 1 by 7 or 1 by 8, such case we are not able to factorize this. So it's better to take this guy as t, just a tip. It may not work in all the cases, but in most of the cases we have some numbers to the power, some factor or some, let's suppose even to the power 9 or 11, which you are not able to break or factorize, better to take the whole thing as t because t to the power any number is easy to differentiate. t to the power 1 by 3, 4 by 3, any number you have is very easy to differentiate or integrate. So we got this and this is nothing but this becomes t to the power 4 by 3 plus 1 divided by 4 by 3 plus 1 plus this becomes t to the power 1 by 3 plus 1 divided by 1 by 3 plus 1. Correct? And 1 by 3 common plus constant. And this is you get t to the power 7 by 3 by 7 by 3 plus t to the power 4 by 3 by 4 by 3. So you see here this is nothing but 1 by 3 into 3 by 7 t to the power 7 by 3 plus 3 by 4 
it will be the power 4 by 3 plus some constant, right? So this 3, 3 can cancel everywhere. So what I get answer is t by 4, sorry, t by t to the power 7 by 3 by 7 plus t to the power 4 by 3 by 4 plus some constant. So that is my answer. No, that is not my answer. Why? Because the quotient is not in terms of t, the quotient is in terms of x. So let's replace t with x. So I get x cube minus 1 is t, x cube minus 1 to the power 7 by 3 by 7 plus x cube minus 1 to the power 4 by 3 by 4 plus c. And that is my answer. Correct. So what we have done? Here also we have used the power of substitution by to convert this uh, difficult integral to a simpler integral. Right, this is a simpler integral which we got by using substitution. Let's take one more example. Here also we will have to use substitution to convert this difficult integral into a simpler one. So as I told, one tip was if you have something to some powers, to the power 3 also is a little difficult to factorize. So I can assume the whole thing as t. This will be a recommended way. So if I take the whole thing as t, what I get is 3 into 3x square dx is equal to dt or I get 6x square dx as dt. So let me first see whether you ignore the constant part. x square dx is somewhere in the numerator or not. So let's see that. Yes, it is there in the numerator. That means if you take this guy as t, my life is simple. So if I let's assume this, x square dx becomes dt by 6. Correct? So I'll write dt by 6. This becomes t cube. Correct? So my whole equation is now a simple equation. Sorry, there was a calculation mistake. 3 into 3 is 9, not 6. So it is 9 by 9, so it is 1 by 9 actually, correct? This is my simpler, simpler equation I get, correct? This is nothing but 1 by 9, I'll take constant outside, dt by t cube. That is nothing but, this is t by 1 by minus 3, that becomes 3 to the power minus 3 plus 1 by minus 3 plus 1. And into 1 by 9 is constant here, plus some constant. This is nothing but 1 by 9 into minus 2 into t to the power minus 2 and plus constant and there is nothing but minus 1 by 18 this is 1 by t square plus and plus but the question is not in form of t it's form in this form so let us let replace t with 2 plus 3 x square so this becomes minus 1 by 18 2 instead of t it is 2 plus 3x cube the whole square plus and the So what we have seen here, such a complex integral is converted to a such a simpler integral just by substitution. This is the power of substitution. The only thing is with practice you have to find which values to substitute. One example, one tip I gave, gave you was something is in, is in a big power or a fractional power assume the whole thing as t but the condition is if you then the dx into this this guy whatever comes should be in the numerator except the uh, what do you call constant part constant part you can any bit divide or subtract so uh, divide not an issue but it's, and here we saw x square dx was coming here let's take some more example e to the power 2x plus j i know how to find e to the power t but I don't know how to find e to the bar 2x plus 3. Since I know how to find e to the bar t d, let's assume the whole thing as t. So I'll assume 2x plus 3 is t. And this is dt here. So in this case, I get 2dx is equal to dt. And that's okay here because my dx part is not having any x, y, x part here. So, so I can write dx as dt by 2x. So let's convert this equation, this becomes e to the power t dt, 1 by 2 is a constant, so I'll take it outside. And this I know how to find integral, 
So this is nothing but e to the power t itself plus some constant. But the quotient is not in this form e to the power t. So let, let's replace t with 2x plus 3 by 2 plus. And that is my answer. Very simple question where we just use uh, again here substitution where we substitute, uh, use t as 2x plus 3 and we got a simpler equation. The same equation is a simpler noun, simpler integral function and we got the See, the more examples you solve, the better it is for you. So, we'll take one more example now in this case. This is x by e to the power x square, very complex, dot dx. Now, one thing you can notice from here is x dot dx, right? It is in the numerator. So, if I take x square as t, this becomes 2x dx is equal to dt. So, x dx comes here. That is one thing. Second thing, e to the power, this becomes e to the power t. And I know how to find integration of e to the power t. So let's assume we'll take x square as t. So I get 2x dx as dt or I get x dx as dt by 2. Correct. So let's uh, replace these values. x dx becomes dt by 2. e to the power x square becomes e to the power t. This is nothing but 1 by 2 e to the power minus t dt. Correct? This guy will be nothing but e to the power minus t by minus 1 plus some constant and that is nothing but minus 1 by 2 e to the power minus t. t is nothing but x square so I write x square plus c that is minus two. So here also using substitution, we have solved. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.